Now that's the timing of the NPC. It's the NPC going along and it's quantized value there. And our quantized value here is eighth notes, as you can see right there by pressing F1. We get our timing correction. And so we know it's in sync with that. And once I unmute it, we'll hear if this is in sync with the beat. Sounds good to me. Press stop. That is the tempo of that sample. Not 137, as the MPC said. So make sure you use tempo detect. Don't use it. Find a tempo first, then t try to time stretch your sample. So you find your tempo first, then you can time stretch your sample. Okay, now I've got my sample here. I'll press edit. Now I know my time stretching. I'm going to make it. This should be 104. Enter. That's that tempo. I want to make it faster. Let's say I want to make it 120. I can. In this case, I'll make it 110. Enter. And I'll press do it. And there it is. Now I'll play it. See that? Now I can either overwrite it, retry, or keep it. Our EPM DP. Got my loop on, of course, you can remember. The loop is on right there. And what I want to do here right now, the trim, I'll press F6 for edit. We're in time stretch function. So we tried it, it worked. But the obvious things were happening there, as we could see, in the time stretch function. Uh, it sounded great, we got the right tempo. But sometimes you're not too sure of how it's going to work out. So you can, you got presets here. We have presets here. We have the adjust, A adjust, see? So here, for example, this is female vocal A. Got that? Not A adjust, but A for the female vocal. That's a preset. And these are logarithms here, these presets. Mathematical equations designed to make sure when you do the time stretching that it'll fit within the range of these particular presets. It could be a vocal entire time stretch. It could be a high frequency rhythm, which this means a high freak rhythm. That's B or C. A, B, C, or either one. And I have low. I have percussion. So in this case, I think this is a low frequency percussion type thing. It's got that booming bass sound. So, I want to do that. And we can adjust either plus or minus. So it's good to probably figure it out and experiment so you can get the right time that you want. In this case, I'll use this. I'll press do it. And now, I did it real quick. Let's hear it play it back. See, it cut the end of it off. It's not too good. Don't like that. Now, if I want to keep it, I can. I can overwrite that sample, or I can make a new one, see? So, overwrite means we write the original sample. Keep, and we'll keep it as a new sample. So, I want to just retry if I'd like to. But, I really don't want to keep that. So, if you do try it, experiment and see if you like it. The next feature you want to try is the pitch shifting function. We'll press edit. And here we're in pitch shift. This is the last one. We got time stretch before, now this is pitch shift. We can change the pitch of the sample, but keep the same length. Now, we tried that earlier. And we can go to here. This is fine tune. This is a course right here. And we'll say, let's say, uh, one up's better. And of course, like we have a time stretch, we have this preset here. So, I'll keep the preset where I want to keep it, like that. It does the same thing. I can play it. See what happened? So, it did a little pitch shift. 
the same sample, same length, it just changed the pitch of the sample. Now, as before, with time stretching, we can override it, the original sample, the new sample, we can retry again, or we can keep it, and we'll have a new sample. And the new sample name appears right here, see? That's the new name would be, if we kept the sample. In this case, I'll go back to retry. So, we've tried those edit functions. Next, we want to try this chop. It's the last feature in our sample section. And it's about chopping our sample up in Chop Shop and making it easy to use so we can make it into a phrase. That way, we can change the tempo of the sample and it'll still fit. Let's check that out. Okay, next here we're going to do the Chop Shop function. Now here we go to Chop Shop. This is kind of cool. We can actually take that sample, let me go back to cancel, we can take this entire sample and chop it up just equally. Okay, so let's say this section, that section, four different sections equally. And that's what this Chop Shop can do in the equal mode. And we can make it the number of regions, so each chop would be a region. We can make it 16 different divided regions. 